disease my family never heard of. My parents were very supportive of my decision to talk about this horrible disease. From there, I, I spoke at a fundraising event in Toronto in the Huntington Society of Canada's annual meeting in Charlottetown last year. I never imagined that speech would end up bringing me here speaking with you today. I remember the day my parents sat my brothers and I down and told us about our dad. It was exactly three months after my dad was diagnosed. They had a very difficult time deciding on when and how they were going to tell us the news. We knew something was up. We knew something wasn't right with our dad, and we were very happy to hear what was going on. Then my mom continued to tell us that HD was hereditary and that my brothers and I are at risk of this devastating disease. My dad was the ver first diagnosed case in his family. My dad's biological father left the family when he was young, and my dad's grandfather died in World War II. None of these men knew that they were passing down this disease. My mom made sure that she, we realized that there are several doctors and researchers, like yourselves, helping to find a cure. Since that day back in 2006, our family has been keeping a positive attitude about our situation. Not to say that we don't have our bad days, but we try hard to keep positive. HD sucks. I was trying to find a better word that could sum up this disease and how I feel about it, but I couldn't think of a better word. I even tried looking it up on the internet for a more descriptive word and had no luck. But I do have other words that describe HD. Family, friends, hope, determination, and dreams. Family. We have such a great supportive family and extended family. With a disease like HD, I can't imagine how my parents would have coped with everything without the support of my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. My grandparents help look after me and my brothers when my mom's at work, and they also help with clothing that's needed throughout the year. My aunts and uncles help support us in our fundraising events and even surprise us with school supplies so my mom isn't worried about finding the money to purchase all of that. My cousins have birthday parties where they ask for donations for HD instead of presents. Friends. We are so lucky to have so many friends that care about this, us and help us through this. From our wonderful neighbors that are always there for us and spoil us, to my parents' longtime friends that no matter how far away they live, they always make sure that they're there for us. My mom makes sure that or my mom works with a wonderful family that makes a donation to HD every Christmas. We are very lucky. We have received so much support from my friends at school. Even my teacher last year decided to have a fun fair to raise money and awareness of HD. Hope. My mom will never let us forget that we have hope. Hope that a cure will be found soon. She makes sure that we're always thinking positive and not to let it get us down. When I'm feeling down, my mom tells me a saying that her grandmother told her. Yesterday was history, tomorrow's a mystery, and today's a gift. Determination. I'm determined to raise awareness of this disease. My brothers are determined to raise money for a cure, and my dad's determined to stay healthy and strong, and well, my mom's determined to survive it all. <laughs> Dreams. I dream of going to university, getting married, having children, and having my grandchildren grow up in an HD-free world. Watching my dad go through this has been really hard. My dad has good days and bad. Since 2007, my dad can no longer work or drive, which makes it difficult on my mom with three active kids in the house. HD has also made things financially difficult for my family since my dad can no longer work. We are lucky to have a family that, we are lucky to have family that helps us when we need it, but we still have to make several sacrifices. We can no longer take music lessons, swimming lessons, play organized sports, or go on any family vacations. It's been hard, but there's times where I can't believe the kindness of others. Back in May, I spoke at our school about Huntington's disease and how our family situation has changed. I talk about, her, how our, fan, I talk about our family. After my speech, my brother Eric was very excited about the response he received from the girls in his class. They were so worried about him having HD, they couldn't stop hugging him. <laughs> he said it was the best day ever. Well, that's a 12-year-old boy for you. <laughs> but also, one of the teachers came over and talked about our family situation and invited us to join the St. Thomas Ball Hockey League. Ms. Zufeld and her husband ran the league each year, and they set aside free applications for families that are in need. 
We were all so overwhelmed by the gesture. My brothers had a great time playing ball hockey. It's been three years since the last time my brother Eric played hockey. It meant so much to all of us. My mom said it's been difficult accepting help from others. We feel guilty and think that there's others more in need than us. We have now decided to accept the help and one day hope that we can pay it forward to someone else. In May, my teacher, Mrs. Bates, decided to have a fun fair at our school, and all the proceeds would go to, Huntington's, to the Huntington Society. We were really shocked and very excited. The fun fair was an amazing success, and we raised over $3,400 that day. Our school is very small and only has 250 kids from JK to grade 8. We were very excited when Wayne Greenway from the Huntington Society of Canada came to our school to receive the check. Port Stanley Public School was the first elementary school in Canada to raise money for HD. Part of what helps our family get through this difficult time is focusing on helps, helping raise money for HD. My brother Eric, who's 12, collects Canadian Tire money, and my brother Tyler, who's 7, collects loose change from my mom's purse. <laughs> my mom's piggy bank, and my grandparents' pockets, or wherever else he can find it. All of us are trying hard to help in whatever way we can. Being at risk for HD is a constant worry to my family and myself. I sometimes find it very hard to forget about HD. I struggle with wanting to know if I have the gene some days, and other days I just want to forget the whole thing. I know, what my, I know my mom wants me to carry on with my life and all my hopes and dreams as if I never heard of HD. I know what she's trying to say, but it's very difficult to think about, not to think about. I worry about myself and my brothers and which one of us could handle the news. I don't know how I would react to find out if I had the gene. I think I'd be okay with it, but I understand that it might get in the way of me looking forward to my future. It's a very personal decision, even though I think I know I can make my own decisions now, I do understand what my mom wants for me. It's a real struggle for me, and that's why I really enjoyed speaking about HD. The website created for young people was a great idea. I would love to be able to talk to kids my age going through the same itch issues I'm dealing with. My friends are great and I can talk to them about anything, but being able to talk to someone that can totally relate, that's a different story. With a genetic disease like HD, we all see our parents going through the same thing. We try to be optimistic and not to let it get in the way of our plans. So we also get upset about this disease when our parents struggle, when our lives change, and we can no longer do what our families used to do. But we're all in this together, a club like no other, with a lot of support from organizations like the Huntington Society of Canada and other support workers help us get through this. I hope all of you doctors, researchers, support workers, and caregivers know how much we appreciate your decision, your dedication to this disease. Our lives depend on your work. Your long hours and time away from your family must be difficult. But please, don't ever doubt that it's unappreciated. We depend on you. Families like ours struggle emotionally, physically, mentally, and financially with this disease, and we're counting on your work. You're our heroes, and one day, and when I get down about HD in my future, I'll try and think of all of you working hard, and one day we can have a conference confirming the cure for Huntington's. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Hayden for inviting me and the Huntington Society of Canada for getting me here. The experience of speaking publicly about HD helps me more than you know. Thank you. Well, she talks at us, some of, you know, all of us being heroes for her. This is a hero for all of us. It's 